Ayan, welcome guys. So today, so as promised, the last time, we're going to have our review, quick review for our um, S640 pen tablet by Vig. So i-review muna natin. Sorry, naging busy for the past few days. So naging busy talaga. So unahin natin, so nandyan ang ating main tablet. So, ito yung ating tinatawag na um, pen tablet. So, review muna natin. So, this pen tablet is USB type siya. Ito guys. So, USB type siya. So, mas madali siyang i-plug. So, kung makikita natin, this pen tablet, ito yung dito sa may ano niya, sa may VIC, it has a LED indicator. So, kapag na i-plug na natin siya, may mag-i-indicate dyan pag okay na siya. Then, kung mapapansin ninyo, so, mapapansin nyo pag ano, meron siyang line, upper line, and then lower line. So, yung upper line, so, that's the marking line. Then, itong nasa gitna is the active area. So, dyan tayo mag-susulat. Then, hanggang dito sa may lower line. So, yun yung ating main tablet. So, next is, syempre, yung ating stylus pen. So, this is our stylus pen. It comes with the pen pocket. So, ito yung pen pocket. Yung ating stylus pen, good thing about this stylus pen, it, it is a battery-free. So, no need to charge for battery kasi battery-free siya. And it has two buttons. So, may dalawang buttons siya. So, later, tingnan natin kung para saan yung dalawang buttons. And this is the stylus nib or yung pinakatip niya. At yun pala yung this one pala the other day na hindi ko alam. So, these black ones are the nibs. Ito yung pampalit natin. And this silver one is the nib removal. So, ito yung pantanggal natin. So, we also have, syempre, ang ating driver download reminder. So, ito yung gagamitin natin to download the driver para sa ating laptop. At ang ating quick start guide. So, nandito naman sa guide yung mga dapat natin malaman. Pati yung um, how to replace the nibs. So, paano natin pre-replace na dyan? So, siguro, ready na tayo to tignan naman natin kung paano naman natin magagamit ang ating pen, pen tablet sa ating online classes. So, tara, let's go! So, ayan, i-try na natin ang ating tablet. So, the first thing you need to do is to plug. So, na-download ko naman na nung isang araw yung ating driver. So, eto siya. So, ang ating driver. So, first thing we need to open. Ito yung ating driver. So, welcome to Vague Pen Tablet. So, ang ating pen ay may dalawang buttons. Pen, Erase, and Right Click. So, try natin yung sensitivity. So, tignan nyo. Kapag inanong ko siya, nilapit ko, merong kulay. Ayan, may laser. So, hindi ko pa siya dinikit. O, pag dinikit ko siya, ayan. So, namumove. So, sensitive siya, guys. So, mas madiin. So, mas mataas yung pressure. So, next, so, pwede rin siya niya siyang gamitin as mouse. 
Ayan. Then, so try natin, tignan yung ating next. So, yan, makikita ninyo if siya ba ay right-handed or left-handed. So, yung pen pala natin, balik tayo din sa pen. So, yung una nga is yung may pen erase, yung unang button, and then yung sa iba ba ay may right click. So, yan. So, i-try na natin siya gamitin sa iba pa nating applications for teaching. Ayan. So, for example, we're going to have our lessons via Zoom or anything na online. So, I prepared here a PowerPoint presentation. So, let's try. So, first, go to your slideshow. And for example, today we will have a math lesson. So, para tayo makapagsimula, don't forget yung ating pen. Go to your pen. Siya nasa baba. Click pen. Then you can choose different colors. So, we can choose black. So, this time, you have your chance to show your solutions to your students para mas maintindihan nila lalo yung inyong ituturo. So, what is the product of 234 and 28? So, by the word product, so I'm using my pen. Product means yes, to multiply. Ayan, so disregard nyo na lang muna yung handwriting ko. We need to practice more. So, for example, we have 234 times 28. So, we are multiplying a 3-digit number by 2-digit numbers. So, ito na yung time na pwede nyo i-explain sa mga students nyo step by step. So, first, we have multiply 8 by 4. So, we have, ayan. So, show them step by step. 24 plus 3 is 27. 16 plus 2 is 18. Next, we have 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, 6, and 4. So, tinitingnan lang natin kung paano yung paggamit. So, we have 2, 15. So, the answer is 6,552. So, we are using our pen tablet. Itong ating stylus to explain so, let's have another example. So, the same problem, but this time we're going to use what we call the lattice method. So, uulitin ko. So, we're not after the ano pa, ha, explanation because we are just using the paint kung paano. So, for example, yan di ba lattice? We're going to draw. Kasi kung 3 digit siya, So, you put there 2, 3, and then 4, and then 28. Then, don't forget. So, lalagyan natin siya ng diagonals. So, para ka lang nag-explain sa blackboard. So, first, you have 2 times 4. 8. So, ba dahil siya ay 1 digit lang, lalagyan natin ng 0, and then 8, 0, 6, and then 2 times 2 is 4, 0, 4. Next, 8 times 4 is 32. Then, 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16. So, pwede rin papalitan natin yung color ng ating pen. So, let's have ito. 2, then this one. 8 plus 3, 11 plus 4, that's 15. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. 4, 5, 6. So, your answer is 6,552. So, ayan guys. Kung paano natin siya ginagamit? Using our pen. Meron pa ba tayo next? Ah, uh, ito. Pag, kung kayo ay nasa medyo higher level na. So, give the product of um, x plus 2 to x plus 5 using foil method. So, palitan ulit natin muna yung ating pen. Pen color. So, we have the black. So, we have x plus 2. 
So, practice tayo ng paggamit. 2x plus 5. Pero first time, so using foil method, so first, you have the first terms. So, x times 2x. You have 2x squared. Then next, we have the outer term. So, x and 5. So, you have positive 5x. The next is inner. So, you have 2 and 2x. So, that's positive 4x. And then last, you have the last term. You have 2 and 5. So, that's 10. Then we combine, so we have 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. So that is our answer. So yan, parang example lang naman siya guys. So yun yung paggamit natin ng ating pen. So overall, parang okay naman siya.